Xin chào các bạn, lại là cô giáo Khánh Huyền đây Và ngày hôm nay thì chúng mình sẽ lại cùng có một bài thi thử cho phần thi IELTS Speaking Part 3 Chủ đề của chúng mình ngày hôm nay đó là một chủ đề khá là phổ biến Mình sẽ cần nói về các chủ điểm Nhưng mỗi phần câu hỏi thì lại có một cái gọi là subsection, một cái subtopic Một cái chủ điểm nhỏ hơn khác nhau Và cụ thể thì hôm nay mình sẽ cùng đi explore, cùng mình cùng đi trải nghiệm khám phá về chủ đề đó là Nói về những nơi mà nó rất là đông đúc nha Vậy thì dù là mình có trải nghiệm cá nhân, mình đã từng đến những nơi đông đúc như thế hay chưa, mình đã đến những cái nơi náo nhiệt như thế hay chưa Thì điều đấy cũng không quan trọng lắm ở phần part 3, ở phần 3 này Bởi vì ở phần 3 này thì mình không cần chia sẻ những trải nghiệm trong quá khứ của mình Mà mình cần chia sẻ những trải nghiệm, những gì mà mình đã chiêm nghiệm được nha Vậy thì hôm nay các bạn ơi, chúng ta sẽ cùng thử xem đấy là với cái bài này thì cô Khánh Huyền sẽ trả lời như thế nào ha Ok, bắt đầu nào When do young people like to go? Well, young people, they go wherever they are pleased. But the most popular destination would be coffee houses. Whether it's to catch up with your friends or for work. College students and young adults can be found at the cafe day and night. The drink might be overpriced, of course. But if you factor in the free internet connection, the air conditioning, and of course many electric city outlets, the price is actually pretty affordable. Are people happy living in crowded apartments? Well, I would surmise that they are not in so many different ways. If by crowded apartments you mean a residential building with many households, the people living there would be facing a lot and a lot of inconveniences like parking and maintenance and not to mention the safety aspect. But if you mean by crowded place, means that there are a lot of people sharing a living space, I think the biggest concern would be um, cooperation. Lots of people having different daily routine, so there could be a lot of conflict, whether two guys are, say, living kin, families. There are about to be some fights. What are the advantages of living on a higher floor? Well, the first thing that springs to my mind is the view. In metropolitan areas, there are so many high-rise buildings and unfortunately, most of them are eyesores. So, if your apartment is on the 20th floor or higher, you will be able to see the entire city instead of, what, overhead power lines and bright billboards at night. Another factor that you should consider is privacy. There is, there is a chance that your window of a lower door can give you a view to pedestrians and neighbors which means they can see inside your house as well. And that's not very comfortable, is it? What are the disadvantages of living on the lower floor? Well, other than the lack of the view and the privacy, I suppose the invasion of pests. What I mean is bugs and rodents can easily sneak into your apartment as they can benefit from the shorter climb. And the drainage system can also be a pain. In Vietnam, for example, monsoon season can guarantee the flooding uh, so houses on the first or the second floor can easily become victims of the sewage just bubbling from the drain. It's just ugh which scenic spots will have queues of people. Most tourist hotspots invite a big crowd, of course, but for a queue to form, there must be something that everyone wants but cannot get at the same time. So, I would imagine it would be places with an Instagrammable view, like a mural, perhaps. What I mean is, those are where people can come in and they can stand there and their friends can take photos of them and they can share it on social media and looking fabulous. What do you think of the phenomenon of people queuing in restaurants for more than an hour? Well, I think it's marketing done right. For new establishments, it is very important for them to create the hype so that they can increase the brand identity or brand awareness as they often say. And with people waiting at the door for hours and hours, it can create a ripple effect. What I mean is, the more bystanders are intrigued, the more they're likely to come in, right? When, which means, 
to get more customers. And everybody wins, I suppose. So that was my answer to this part. Did you learn any new word? Did you enjoy it? Or do you have any suggestion for me? Let's leave the comment below and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!